Multiple side chains of the beta prime subunit are involved in selecting and positioning the ribonucleotide as it enters the active site pocket. Looking down the secondary channel, we can see asparagine 737. This residue participates in discriminating ribonucleotides from deoxyribonucleotides. Other side chains help to properly position the nucleotide so the phosphate groups are oriented toward the active site and the substrate base forms hydrogen bonds with the template base. The presence of the nucleotide in the active site induces conformational changes so that the trigger loop folds into the trigger helix, shown in light blue. The trigger helix interacts with the bridge helix, shown in magenta, to form a three helical bundle. Formation of the trigger helix bridge helix bundle may alter interactions with the phosphate groups so that the nucleotide moves to the insertion state. In this position, the alpha phosphate is closer to the catalytic magnesium ion. The 3' hydroxyl of the RNA transcript attacks the alpha phosphate, resulting in phosphodiester bond formation and release of a pyrophosphate group. Loss of the pyrophosphate may destabilize the insertion state. The trigger helix then transitions back into the trigger loop conformation.